Hey everyone, Tim Schofield here from QBKing77.com here doing a video showing you how to root your Sprint Samsung Epic 4G Touch, the latest method on Jelly Bean um, GB27. So go ahead and press menu, go to settings, scroll down, go to about device, and double check and make sure your software version is GB27. Uh, this version to root is very quick, very simple. I do want to make a note that no data will be wiped, so you don't have to worry about that. And in regards to future updates on the device, um, I do want to make a note that it de kind of depends on how Samsung handles the update. It may uh, update, it may not. It depends on if it checks certain things. So just kind of keep that in mind if you're going to root. But anyways, let's go ahead and get into it. All you need is a PC and a micro USB cable. And then what you're going to need to do is just go ahead and click on the link in the description of the video. It'll probably take you to my website where I'll have all this information compiled. And then click on the link where it says download. So click on the download link and then go ahead and go to this website. It's going to go ahead and take you to this website. Shout out to everyone involved. SF Hub, Sex Tape, our Wilco 12. Everyone involved for getting this going. Um, go ahead and scroll down. Keep scrolling down and you will see... Uh, number one says install Samsung drivers if necessary. So if you do not have those installed, make sure you do so. Uh, click and download those. Next, you will go ahead and see, here's the main file that we need, the GB27 one click here. Uh, so it's very simple. There's a couple options, and I kind of want to cover those real quick. The top two, reset your user data so it'll do a factory reset on your device. I also want to make a note that if you are on a previous Jelly Bean leaked build, you might be able to do this. Uh, just follow this root video um, and preserve your data. However, if you have issues, you might have to do a factory reset. So just kind of keep that in mind. Anyways, uh, you'll see the bottom two, preserve user data. So these are the two we're going to want to see. One is stock and one is rooted. So the bottom one here. You want it rooted and to preserve data, and that will be mirror one. So click on that and download it. It's a pretty big file, so the download might take a little bit of time. So go grab a cup of coffee and then come on back. And once you have it downloaded, we should be ready to go. All right, so once you download the file, it will look like this. It'll be an EXE file right here, GB27. All you have to do is go to your desktop and go ahead and right click and then go ahead and press new, highlight new and make a new folder. And you can just call it something like GB27 root, just so you know what it is. So uh, call it GB27 root and then just go ahead and right click on this EXE file and hit run as administrator. Allow it user account control once it asks. So you'll see asking for user account control, just go ahead and hit yes. And then it's going to open up this 7-zip self-extracting archive here. It might not be 7-zip, it might just be a different program self-extracting archive. But what you want to do is press this dot, dot, dot. And then go ahead and on your desktop, scroll down. You'll see the GB27 root folder that we have on our desktop. Press that, press OK. What that's going to do is just extract all the necessary files into that folder that we just made. So just hit extract, and then it'll take a little bit of time. As I said, the file's large to extract on over, and I'll be back once it's done extracting. All right, so it just finished extracting. What that means is all the necessary files are now in that GB27 root folder. So just double click on that folder, and inside you'll see another folder called Odin OC. Double click on that, and inside you'll see another application which is the actual Odin application that we need. So right click on this one as well and hit run as administrator as well. And allow it user account control once, uh, once it pops up, like so. And here we go. So now it opened up our Odin one click right here. So you'll see it says GB27 root restore up at the top. So make sure that you downloaded the correct option. Root restore is gonna go ahead and keep all your data and root your device. Okay, just a quick note, yours isn't going to say root restore up at the top, it's actually going to say something like root no data. I downloaded the one that actually did a factory reset, but don't worry, mine says root restore, yours will not. Again, just make sure you download the correct file that I mentioned earlier in the video. Alright, now we're ready to go, you can actually grab your device, grab your phone, and then go ahead and unlock it, and all you have to do is power it off. We do not need to turn on USB debugging, nothing like that, just power off your device. And then once fully powered off, we need to get into Odin mode or download mode. To do so, press and hold the volume down button and power button at the same time. Press and hold both of them. Keep it held down until this warning screen pops up. Then go ahead and press volume up to continue. And there we go. We are now in download mode right here. So once in download mode, all you have to do is just plug your device into your PC. So grab your micro USB cable, 
plug it on into your PC. Uh, if necessary, drivers might install if you haven't installed them already, so let those install. But once the drivers are done installing and everything is done, you will see a yellow box pop up. It should say COM and then a number. It doesn't matter what the number is, but you will see a yellow box that lets you know that Odin recognizes your device and we are now ready to go. So all you have to do now is hit the start button and that's it. So let it do its thing. It's going to go ahead and automatically root your device. Um, it will take a bit of time. You will see a progress bar, a green progress bar in Odin. You should see a blue progress bar in your device. So once this starts up, you should see a couple progress bars going, I do believe. All right, so let it go for a little while, and you'll see a green progress bar starting and a little blue one there. Um, as I said, it'll take a bit of time, so be patient with it. Make sure you do not unplug your device. If you are having any issues with Odin, the Odin One Click, what I recommend doing is trying a different cable. That's the main thing I recommend doing. You can try reinstalling drivers. You can try using different USB ports as well. So those are the main troubleshooting steps with uh, the Odin One Click if you are having any problems whatsoever. So anyways, I'm gonna go ahead and let this sit for a while. Once it is nearing completion, I will be back. Also want to make a quick note that while this is running through, make sure your computer does not hibernate, anything like that. As I said, don't unplug your device, so uh, just kind of move the mouse around and make sure that uh, it keeps running through. All right, so it looks like it is just about finishing up. Once it is done, it should automatically reboot your device, and that should be just about it. So let it reboot. And there we go, reset, pass. You'll see a green box that says pass. And our device should just automatically reboot, and that should be it. The first boot up might take a little bit longer than usual. All right, normal boot animation. All right, so my phone has fully booted up. Uh, what you can do now is go ahead and go into your app drawer, and then in the app drawer you should see an app called Super SU Now. That lets you know that your uh, phone is rooted. To double check, I downloaded an app called Root Checker Basic. You can get it in the Play Store, it's free. Just double check and make sure you have root access. I'm going to go ahead and hit agree, hit OK, and I'm just going to hit verify root access. You just have to allow it, allow it super user permissions. Just grant, hit grant, and there you go. It says congratulations, this device has root access, and now lets you know you're fully rooted. So that's it. You are now have a fully rooted Samsung Epic 4G Touch from Sprint. I will post a video showing you how to install a custom recovery if you're looking to flash ROMs. I'll get to that hopefully soon, maybe right after this. So uh, I might be able to get to it tonight um, and upload it. But that's how you root. Hopefully this helps you out. Again, um, if you have any questions, feel free to ask, leave a comment. Be sure to subscribe to me as well. I'd really appreciate it. Um, you can follow me on Facebook, Twitter, and Google Plus as well. All links will be in the description of the video below. And as always, thanks for watching. Be sure to give this video a thumbs up.